Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to do the visualized data with a heat map. In the vertical axis we're going to have the months and in the horizontal the years. Inside the heat map you will see a tooltip with some information. So let's head to freecode.com to see the specifications. I can view a heat map with data represented both on the y and x axis. Each cell is color-based its relationship to other data and I can mouse over a cell in the heat map to get more exact information. Now there is a data set that we can use to build it and it's this one. As you can see there is the base temperature, a monthly variance, year, month and variance. So we will use this JSON later. Now, I've already written um, something in the HTML, which is just the header and the subheater, and in CSS I have a body with background color and text align in center, and then um, another text align again in the center. I'm using Bootstrap, but you don't have to do it. And then in the JavaScript it's very important to use the D3, and especially I'm using the third version and you should be careful because the last version is the fourth one so maybe as a preset you have the fourth but here I will be using the third all right just a few more lines of code um, in the HTML I will have a div class graph and inside there an SVG with ID heatmap and another div class with the tooltip and that's it for the HTML, you don't need anything else. Now in CSS I'm going to add a class graph with margin 0 and auto and then a background color. Uh, no, I don't need it in center, you can hit it in white. Alright, as for the tooltip you will need a background color of light salmon a border with 1 pixel, solid and black, a width of 100 pixel, opacity, I will set it to 0, color black, and the position will be absolute. And that's it for the CSS2. Now the most important thing here is JavaScript. And as we saw before, we're going to use uh, the JSON. So let's start from it. We will have a d3.json and inside there a URL with a function and data. The data equals to data.monthly variance. And then it's time to map the data. So we're going to have data.map and a function with d. And inside there we will have d.month equals to months. And inside there, d.month minus 1, and then a d.year, which equals to d3.time.format y.parse, and d.year.toString. And this is for the x and the y axis. Alright, now let's continue with declaring the functions. We're going to have an X scale with domain and inside there d3 dot extent and data function D sorry function data which returns a data dot year and now we're going to scale the colors so I need a color scale dot domain d3 dot extend data function d which returns the d variance. And so now it's time for the bar width and the bar height. We'll have a variable with bar width which equals to width and data dot length and then a bar height with the height and the 12 months. So let's continue with scaling the axis and set the orientation. 
for the x-axis, we will, we are going to have the d3 dot j centered axis dot scale x scale, and the orientation will be bottom. Whereas in the y scale, in the y axis, the orientation will be left, and ticks will be twelve. Great. Now we will add uh, a G element that provides a reference point for adding the axis. And then we are going to append the axis according to the size and the position that we have set up with our width, height and margins. So you will need a group.append G and an attribute class with X axis, transform with translate 0 and height and then you'll just need to call the x-axis we will do a similar thing uh, for the y-axis but this time uh, the translate will be 0 and 0 Alright. Now let's get back um, in the top and set our variable for the height, the margins, and the URL, the months, and the color. First, the height will be 500 and width, the width will be 1000. The margin will be left 120, right 20, top 20, and bottom 70. Sorry for the email, and now I'm just going to copy and paste uh, the URL. You can take it from FreeCodeCamp. Then I'm going to copy and paste the months. You simply have uh, to write every month. And then I have uh, the colors. I've already set it in my mind, and I'm going to copy and paste them once again. Alright, and now we're going to have another variable with the canvas which equals to d3.select the SVG and with the attribute of height and width. So the height would be height plus margin dot dot plus margin bottom and the width will be width C plus margin dot left and margin dot right. Great. Now let's continue with var div, which equals to d3 dot select the tooltip. Another variable for x scale, which equals to d3 dot time dot scale dot range. And in range we have a zero and a width. And for the y scale, we will have the d3.scale ordinal dot domain months and range bounds. The range bounds are 0 and 8. Let me write that down. Alright, and uh, the last one will be a variable for the color scale, which is d3.scale.quantize and dot range dot color. Alright, now let's get back down and continue with the group. So we will have a group dot append g and an attribute and then inside um, the attribute you are going to have a transform with a function data which will return the translate with an x scale 
and here the syntax is quite weird it's like writing HTML inside the JavaScript <laughs> it's always weird so we've written the X scale with data dot here plus you'll need the white uh, the Y scale with the month and that's it so after that we will also append a rect or a rectangular with some attributes uh, the width will be bar width and the height will be y scale dot range band and uh, we will style this so we will go to fill this with a function and data which will return uh, the color scale with data dot variants and another important very thing that you should definitely do is to have on mouse over and the function with D and this will make the tooltip to follow the mouse here the div dot transition dot uh, duration 10 style with opacity of 0 0.8 and again we're going to style it the left will be d3 dot event dot page and pixels and top will be d3 dot event dot page y and the pixels okay so now let's appear or disappear the tooltip on mouse hover we saw that we have um, a variance of 8.66 uh, which is a standard value and you'll see that you're going to use it inside the div html so I've already written the div html and I will open a paragraph with year so we'll have a d3.time format y and then I'm going to continue with d.year I'm going to close the paragraph and open another paragraph with value which equals 8.66 plus uh, the d dot variance and I'm going to have only two digits after the comma so to fix two I'm going to close the paragraph and open for um, last for the last time another paragraph with the month and then I'm going to have the digit month and I'm going to close the paragraph so now I'm going to need an on mouse out function D I need the mouse out function so the value in the tooltip can change now another div with transition the duration will be 100 and the style is going to have an opacity with zero all right now let's see what we are missing so the graph will have uh, the background color of white all right now let's add here the group just a few more lines okay so the group has a transform of translate plus margin left and a margin top let me write that also okay and uh, I'll fix the margin because I wrote margin uh, just some typos and here it's oh my god ordinal not oriental and here you can finally see the visualization data with the heat map 
I'm going to leave the code in the description box and you will be able to find it on my CodePen account or on GitHub. So I hope you like this project and if you did, please share and subscribe. Thank you very much and have a great day!